Little Red Riding Hood's mother said to her, Your grandmother said, go take her this basket of cookies and warm soup. So Little Red Riding Hood set off through the forest. She hadn't gone very far when, when she met a wolf. Ah! Where are you going, little girl? I'm going to take this basket to my grandmother who is sick. And where does your grandmother live? In a little house deep in the woods. Well, I'll go visit her too. I'll go this way and you go that way. Then we'll see who gets there first. Okay. The wolf took the shorter path and ran quickly to the grandmother's house. When he got there, he disguised his voice to sound like Little Red Riding Hood and said, Grandmother, it's Little Red Riding Hood. I brought you a basket of soup and cookies. <laughs> we'll lift up the latch and come in. The wolf hurried in the door. He grabbed the grandmother and tied her up. Then he put her in the closet. He dressed himself in the grandmother's nightgown and cap. He laid down in the grandmother's bed thinking how good a Little Red Riding Hood would taste. Soon, Little Red Riding Hood knocked on the door. Come in, Little Red Riding Hood. Wolf spoke in an old lady voice. When Little Red Riding Hood saw her grandmother, she thought she looked very strange. Oh, grandmother, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear. Oh, grandmother, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. Oh, grandmother, what big teeth you have. The better to eat you with. With that, the wolf jumped out of the bed and gobbled up Little Red Riding Hood in one bite. His full belly made him sleepy, so he went back to bed. Soon he started to snore loudly. A woodcutter was passing by the house. When he heard the loud snoring, he went into the house to see if the old woman was all right. The woodcutter heard something bumping and pounding on the closet door. When he opened the door, he saw the grandmother. He quickly set her free. Oh, woodcutter, thank you for saving me, but the wicked wolf has eaten Little Red Riding Hood. Can you do anything to save her? Ma'am, I can sure try. He had to be very careful not to wake the dangerous wolf. The woodcutter ran to the bed to kill the wolf. He cut a long slit down the wolf's body. Then all of a sudden, out jumped Little Red Riding Hood. Then the woodcutter dragged the wolf's skin outside. Then Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother thanked the brave woodcutter. Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother had the cookies and soup that she had brought to her grandmother, and they all lived happily ever after. The end.